There's something you should know about these new homeowners, Steve and Katie Blackwell. We focus on robberies, a lot of narcotic activity, um, prostitution, that, that kind of thing. There's been, you know, there's been shootings, there's been uh, stabbings, there's been uh, a lot of physical confrontations, but that just goes with the job. Every day the Blackwells put their lives on the line as police veterans in a major city. And when they're not battling in the streets, they're fighting in the desert. There's never many a times when, you know, my wife's team was in front of me and I'm watching them get ambushed. Steve and Katie served together in Bosnia and twice in Iraq. And then uh, I, think, I think it makes us appreciate things a lot more uh, that every day is a gift, you know, for us it is. We don't take advantage of, of what we have and that we really appreciate all the things that we do have. Including their beautiful new home. The Blackwells say there is no way they would own a home like this if it wasn't for this special lady. These are people who serve their community. These are people who put their lives on the line for us every day. And we're in the business of real estate, and so we want to help them. Ruth Johnson, along with her children Casey and Mark, and her sister Helen, run a special kind of realty company in Minneapolis. It was Mark's idea. And we could call it Homes for Heroes. Well, uh, that was it. Yeah, I thought it was a brilliant idea. A veteran in the realty business, Ruth sold her company to create Homes for Heroes. That's a beautiful thing, when you can take all your knowledge and all your past experience to grow a company that helps people. It's, um, it's wonderful. The idea is to help health professionals, police officers, military personnel, firefighters, and even teachers to own the home of their dreams at a substantial savings. This is it, this is our passion, we live it. This is not just a job. Here's how it works. When heroes around the country are looking for a new home, Ruth refers them to an affiliate realtor in their area. It doesn't matter what company they work for. It could be a Coldwell Banker, it could be a Remax, a Century 21, it could be a small independent broker. It makes no difference. Those realtors, in turn, agree to give 25% of their gross commission back to the homeowner. And that's a special feeling when they look across that closing table and they're, they're handed the keys to their new home and you saved them a ton of money doing it. It's, it's a special feeling. Caleb Shaw, an affiliate realtor in Victoria, Texas, says his business grew rapidly as the result of his generosity and the referrals he gets from Homes for Heroes. As a new realtor, you, you work the, the cold calls and the, you know, the phone book calls that just nobody wants to make. And I've been blessed enough through Homes for Heroes to not have to do that to, you know, in, in order to see my business grow. And so that's, that's been phenomenal, yes sir. And that's the whole premise of the program. The more they give back, the more the word spreads, and the more heroes then are helped, and the more business that they do. So it just, it just keeps growing and growing, and it's great. Not only do heroes like Steve and Katie get discounts from realtors, but from other friends of heroes as well. Substantial savings come from lenders, title companies, and even home inspectors. This isn't, this isn't a marketing scheme. This isn't a, a get rich quick at the expense of heroes. This is real. And, and when they say that there's no red tape, that there's no extra paperwork, they mean it. And there is no catch. Homes for Heroes. There are many incredible stories, always with a happy ending. What's happier than a couple moving into their brand new home, especially after they've sacrificed um, so much to serve their community or their country? I just love it. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's more than what we ever, what we ever thought we'd ever get. To give to the people that give to you on a daily basis, and so often go unthanked, and you know, it's a special thing. It really is. Thank you.